Okay, everyone, so it is time for our weekly zone cleaning episode again. Um, this is an episode where I share with you the zone that we're working on this week following the fly lady cleaning method. Um, if you're not familiar with that, pretty much she um, has a website, fly lady, she's got a book, she's got all kinds of areas or ways to find out about her methods, but um, she does a lot of cleaning routines and daily habits and things like that. Um, this that I do the zone cleaning episode on is her zone cleaning, which is the part of her cleaning um, routines or method or whatever, where you do all your deep cleaning tasks. So all the things that don't get done on like an actual, like every week basis, these are more just like your deep cleaning tasks and your home gets divided into five areas. We tackle one area a week. And in this episode, I just share with you what I have on my list for whatever zone we're currently working in. It's kind of just like a um, audio checklist, I guess. It's pretty much the same list every time we come around to the zone. So next month when we come around to the zone again, you're gonna hear me basically say the same thing. But the idea is just that maybe you could listen in, hear a few things and work on a few of them and just kind of use it to maintain your zones um, in your home. So you're supposed to work on the zones for 15 minutes um, a day. So you just um, say, okay, we're in this zone. I'm gonna take 15 minutes and do, do um, as many things as I can get done in that zone in 15 minutes and then you move on. I generally do this one um, day a week, but I do wanna say, I know I've mentioned in the past, I've been trying to do these little like five minutes here and there. And um, I have been much better at doing that. Um, I actually use this um, app called Strides on my phone, which is like a habit tracking app. And one of the habits that I added in there that I'm trying to check off each day is to just do five minutes of zone cleaning. And I've been, I've done it, I've have, at this point I have a three day streak. So um, the last three days I did do five minutes of zone cleaning a day. Of course, I'm not getting as much done as if I did 15 minutes, but I still will do some on Saturday like I always do. So it's more just getting like a few of the other smaller things done. And then that way, when I do my zone cleaning on Saturday, I can just um, get maybe a couple things done that might take a little bit longer that I can't just do like in a few quick minutes. So anyway, um, this week we're in zone three. So zone three is the main bathroom, the laundry room, the kids' bedroom, and the basement. That's how I have it defined. Everyone um, is gonna be a little bit different and you might have to tweak some of these because of how your home is laid out. Um, the Fly Lady has zone three identified as the main bathroom and one extra bedroom. So what I did is I have the main bathroom and then I have kind of rotate through laundry room, kids' bedroom, and basement as like the extra room because my kids are older and um, they basically clean their own rooms. The, the things I might do in there um, are maybe just like help them do a little deep cleaning in some areas. Um, but I, and I do their sheets on a different cleaning routine schedule anyway. So um, there's not too much to do in there. And then I, the laundry room is in the basement. So it's kind of all one in the same. So that's why I have it defined that way. So I will share with you what I have on my list for this zone, which is um, starting with the main bathroom. So my main bathroom is our upstairs bathroom. So I do have a different zone where we do our downstairs bathroom. Um, we have a bathroom in the basement. So this week in zone three, I'm doing our main bathroom. So for the main bathroom, I have um, wash area rug, um, clean the shower caddy. Like if you have one of those little things that hangs over the shower head is what I think it's called. I always struggle what to call that thing. Um, the, the caddy that like hangs there and maybe soap goes on it or shampoo or razors or things like that. Just kind of taking that down and wiping it off really good. Um, if you have like a toothbrush holder on your sink, you'll wanna um, maybe, that's something that you can maybe work on and just kind of empty it out and just scrub it out real good and put all the toothbrushes back. We have a um, one of those like toilet bowl cleaner caddies that like the brush kind of sits in. Um, in the corner like back behind the toilet so that has to be, just be like wiped down and then just kind of cleaned out on the inside as best as I can it's kind of awkward to get inside that but um, it does need to be wiped down um, organize any drawers if you have like a, um, a vanity that has like um, drawers in it where you can store different things in the bathroom you want to um, go through and organize those occasionally it's funny because I, I asked in, in hours most of my things in those drawers 
are um, my daughters both of my daughters have like just all kinds of I don't know hair ties and makeup and just all kinds of things in those drawers and I said to my daughter um, maybe can you help me you want to go through these drawers and see what what maybe we might need to get rid of and she's like oh now you want me to get rid of everything I'm like no going through stuff does not mean we have to get rid of it so I was trying to explain to her just by going through doesn't mean I'm making you get rid of anything I just want to go through and see if there's anything in here to get rid of um, you know that's maybe old or broken or you don't use anymore or whatever but it was just kind of funny because she was she was so defensive with going through the the makeup and the skincare products <laughs> so anyway um, if you do have drawers in there sometimes things tend to get um, you know things get piled on top of others and you might want to just go through and see if you have anything um, that might need to be relocated or um, or thrown away or whatever consolidated uh, also uh, if you have a medicine cabinet um, you want to go through that um, see if there's any medicines that need to, um, you know, be thrown out if they're too old or um, just kind of reorganize. I like to kind of keep mine organized kind of by like theme, like pain medication goes in one area, poison ivy stuff goes in another area, that kind of thing. And sometimes over time, just from people using things and putting them back, they get a little bit unorganized. So maybe you just need to kind of regroup things. Um, clean the fan so this is like the fan uh, we have a fan in the bathroom I think most do that um, it's just kind of like a vent and um, what I do now I used to sit there and use like a pipe cleaner or a um, a q-tip to go through like the little vents on the fan and um, that was really hard and annoying and it didn't do that great of a job but now what I do is I take my um, I have one of those like Dyson stick vacuums that um, the you know has different attachments so I just take like a brush attachment on it so it's more like a little handheld vacuum and then I just kind of go up there and I just run the vacuum on like the high suction mode along the ceiling fan or like the vent fan or whatever you call it and um, it just sucks all the dust out makes it so much easier so I'm so glad that I'm doing that that way now so now I'm actually more prone to keep up on that because um, it's just super easy to do um, also clean the blinds just we have just like those regular like inexpensive horizontal blinds and I just kind of wipe them down with a microfiber cloth um, clean the drain I actually haven't done this in a while I I probably should do this again soon but that's where you um, just take hot boiling water pour it down the drain um, then baking soda and peroxide not peroxide baking soda and vinegar and let that soak in the drain and then follow up with hot boiling water again and it's supposed to help clear the drain and um, maybe get rid of some hair or whatever I don't know I don't really know I, I can't really say for sure that it has done um, like that it's done anything as far as removing hair or any things that could potentially clog the drain at some point but I can't imagine that it could hurt it seems like it would help keep it clean so I've been doing that once in a while but I honestly haven't done it in a while so I probably need to do that soon um, and then wash the shower curtain so I have one of those um, hookless ones that has like the plastic um, liner that you just snap on. And um, I just replaced that snap on liner because it had gotten like a little bit discolored. So I'm trying to keep this one like really nice for longer. Um, so I, I really want to make sure I stay in the habit of just throwing that in the wash when I'm in the zone because it literally takes no time to just bring it down real quick and throw it in the washing machine while I'm doing other things. So also in zone three, I have the laundry room. So for, so for the laundry room, I have um, removed cobwebs, look behind the washer and dryer for socks, um, or anything you know that might have fallen like in between or behind the washer and dryer. Um, sweep the floor, mop the floor, wipe down the top of the washer and dryer. Um, you know, I usually just kind of spray it down the front and the top, and then um, just use like a cloth to, to just wipe it down and clean it. Um, we do have a chest freezer in our laundry room, like next to the um, washer and dryer, so I have to spray that down occasionally and, um, and, and wipe that down. Um, I also have to clean dirt from under the washer lid, like sometimes under like the edge of like the lid where you lift it, it can get kind of like gunky in there. It just kind of needs to be wiped down and then um, empty the garbage can. So I'm surprised I don't I didn't actually have clean garbage can. I need to add that to my list because also what I usually like to try and do is not only empty the garbage can, but periodically clean it. So just kind of like spray it down and then um, 
just take like a um, paper towel and just kind of clean the outside and inside of the garbage can with like a cleaner just to keep it nice. Um, also in the basement, which is kind of, which is the same area where my laundry room is, but like the main area of the basement, um, the things I have on my list for that are to um, clean the com computer monitor screen. We have a computer in the basement, so just wipe down that screen. Um, clean the entertainment center. We have like a little entertainment center down in the basement with a TV, so that needs to be wiped down. Um, dust any furniture. You know, we have some chairs, we have like a little table, things like that. Um, we have one of those little like basement windows, so I need to clean that. Um, throw out the garbage. We have, th this is another garbage can um, that's in like the main area, so just check that and see if any garbage needs to be thrown out. Vacuum under the desk. Um, vacuum the entire basement, um, sweep the stairs. So we have like hardwood floor stairs coming into the basement. And um, usually what I do is I just sweep them and then I'll just mop them by hand. Like I'll just take like a microfiber cloth and just soak it um, and then just kind of go down the stairs and just kind of wipe them down. It's really quick and easy to do it that way rather than trying to get like a mop and a mop bucket or even like a spray thing because it's just like stair steps so I can easily just kind of go down and do it by hand. So that's how I do that. And then um, the last um, zone, the last area in the zone is the kids' bedrooms. So um, for that, I just have wash comforters, wash windows, wash curtains, and dust furniture. So that's everything on my list. That's a lot of things. Just a reminder, I don't think I went into this in as much detail at the beginning of the episode, but when you're zone cleaning, you are not trying to accomplish all of these things that I just said in your weekly zone cleaning. You're gonna pick a few of them and get as many of them done as you can get done this week, whatever you have time for. And then the next time the zone comes around, you're gonna choose other things and then choose other things again. And you're just gonna keep working through that way so that you're just rotating these tasks over the course of time. Because these aren't things that need to be done on like an, a week, daily or weekly basis. They can get done over time. Um, so what you want to do is just try and keep working through and do the things you haven't done um, You know previously until you get through everything on the list that could take you several weeks It could uh, not several weeks. It could take like going through the zone several times um, But you want to try and work through it so that you ultimately get everything done and then start over again another thing is that if you um, have decluttering to do in any of these rooms um, under this method, the, the, um, the tip is to, um, or the idea is to declutter first. So decluttering is always your first task before you hit any of these other tasks. So if you're like, it's bathroom day and you have a whole bunch of stuff that's accumulated maybe under your sink and you need to go through that, then that would always be your first priority because it always makes it easier to clean after you have decluttered a space. Um, so do decluttering in your time allotted for zone cleaning if you have um, any to do before you move on to your zone cleaning tasks. And, um, you know, the fly lady basically kind of promotes that, like, you're not behind. You're just, you just jump in where you're at. So it's not like you're trying to get caught up on your house on getting all these zone cleaning tasks done. No, you're just saying, I'm zone cleaning today. You pick a few things and you acknowledge the things that you did. And know that you just made progress and next time you get a little bit more done and a little bit more done so don't feel like you're trying to always have all of these things caught up and done you're not trying to do all of these in one zone cleaning session or during one week when you're in that zone so um, I did also want to share oh I wanted to share about the five minutes like I was talking about before so like what I did um, for example last night I was working on zone three and um, I had on my app like to check off to do five minutes of zone cleaning. So I was like, all right, let me just set the timer for five minutes. I went into the bathroom. Um, in five minutes, I was able to um, clean the, um, the scale. So I like wiped down the scale real quick. I took out the garbage from like our little garbage can. I sprayed it down on the inside and the outside and I wiped that down. I um, took down the shower caddy where like the soap, you know, like I said, like where you could put shampoo and razors and things like that. I took that down and I like just took like a microfiber cloth and I wiped it down really good, like under the um, tub faucet. Like I had the tub faucet running like with hot water and I just held the shower caddy kind of under that and with a wet microfiber cloth, just kind of scrubbed it really good. And then I took that same wet microfiber cloth and went around the floor 
and wipe down the baseboards. And I think that was everything. But that was a lot. That was four things I was able to quickly do in five minutes. So I was really excited that I took that five minutes and I got those things done. So I'm trying really hard to squeeze in those five minutes occasionally when I can, not really more than once a day, but even if I could just get in one five minute a day and just do like a couple of those really small things, um, then I don't have to bother with them on the weekend when I do my other zone cleaning and maybe I can get a few more things done. But you're not trying to kill yourself. You just wanna get a couple of things done um, so that you're making progress over time. So one other thing I wanted to share is I'm trying to share um, each episode now, um, the Fly Lady Habit of the Month, because on her website she always has like a habit to work on and I just thought it would be kind of fun to kind of keep that in the episode um, just as another thing to focus on. So this month, her habit of the month is um, for April is to make your bed. So I mentioned that last time, I think the last two, Two ep- I think we've done two episodes in April so far. I think this is the third time. So I tried to like l- just look up um, maybe like some other information, like why it's important to make your bed. So the first thing that I found when I did the search was um, a list of five reasons to make your bed every day. So um, the list had, it said it starts your day off right. So that one I do agree with. It's nice to get up and just make your bed. But if you have someone else sleeping in it, that might not work. But if you can do it as soon as you get up, it's just a nice way to start off your day. Um, It encourages you to keep the rest of your room tidy. So by um, having that bed made, it just kind of sets the tone to keep the room nice and organized. Um, It leads to better productivity. Uh, I think that was from, I think it mentioned that this was from a book and I forget what book it was, but I did read this book because when I saw it, I was like, I, I don't know if it was, Tiny Habits, or I don't remember what, if that was the book it referenced because I'm not back into the article right now. But um, it just said, you know, just kind of by starting off by like accomplishing something like that, it just kind of sets your, your productivity mode, I guess, for the rest of the day and can just kind of set you off for a good um, productive day. Um, and it says it lowers your stress and improves your mood because it's just there's just something nice and relaxing about having a peaceful bedroom and by having that bedspread like you know just kind of like looking nice and and just neat it just does something about the tone of the room and it can kind of reduce your stress and help you relax better that's what it says i don't know i'm just sharing what this information said and then the last of the five items was was just not really super helpful but it just said it just looks and feels better and it does so um yeah so those are just i just wanted to add a few things i figured let me just look and see what i could find on um you know maybe some more kind of tips or reasons to why it's a good idea to try and make the good habit of making your bed every day so that was her that was her habit of the month um make your bed So that's it for today um, for the zone cleaning episode. I hope this is helpful to you in some way. If you'd like to reach out to me with any um, suggestions or tips or anything, anything really, um, you can reach me at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. You can send a direct message there or you can just email me at Lola's Frugal Life at gmail.com. We also have a private listeners group which can be found at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. I'd love to have you join. We have a really nice group of people in there and I'd like to um, continue to build that group. So I check it pretty much every day. So if you submit a request, I will approve you um, as soon as I see it. Also, if you enjoy this podcast, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a spare minute, if you could please rate and review this podcast, um, it's supposed to be really helpful in having my show come up in search results so that other people can find it. So that'd be really, really helpful to me. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a really awesome day.